Hello YouTube modeling community. Uh, this is Rusty Rotor. Uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail, uh, I actually did a, uh, a weekend haul, I guess you could call it. As you know, we went away for the weekend. Uh, had a, had a wonderful time. Uh, we went to, if you've ever heard of it, is, uh, Nashville, Indiana. It's, uh, an eclectic arts type uh, town uh, great food uh, tons of stores and artists everywhere you know leatherworking woodworking painting uh, crafts uh, and then they had antique stores all amongst them you know kind of junk stores whatever you want to call them uh, touristy stores you know with the t-shirts and the hats and the a lot of clothing stores, boutiques, wineries, uh, distilleries, uh, whiskey, you know, all the great stuff. So we had a blast. Uh, we had some uh, adult beverages. Uh, we stayed in the cabin out in the woods, which was awesome. Uh, we had a hot tub, had a fireplace because it did get cold on Saturday, really cold. And uh, it was nice. We had a fireplace. We sat back. We just relaxed, unwind like everybody needs to do from time to time. Uh, so, yeah. And just a little disclaimer, I, I don't normally do this as far as big hauls. Uh, to me, this is a huge haul, uh, and this was primarily my wife going, yeah, you need to get that, you need to get that, it, that's different, that, that's unique, you, you don't have that. Do you have this? You know, so she was kind of pushing it, and I'm like, and I'm always like, yeah, you know, prices are just, you know, for something that's been started, maybe missing a part. Uh, now, if it's sealed and it's a good price, that's a different story. But, you know, but, man, we, we, like, brought home the mother load. I'm going to do this really quickly because I want to get this video done and get it out. It was supposed to come out yesterday. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about this first, if I can get through it without getting emotional. Uh, everybody knows him. Uh, everybody loves him. Uh. I'll use the word love loosely. Uh, I love all my friends. You know, they they all have a special a special place in your heart. Uh, you think about them all the time. Your conversations you've had with them, you know, so on and so forth. And uh, you know, Terry Senior, I've known him for several years. Uh, we've communicated. I've gotten. I've not been an active member on his lives, but I go into the lives in the chat area and I, you know, talk to him. Always greets me with a smile, excited. Oh, hi, Rick. How you doing? You know, what's what's been going on? What are you working on? You know, just an all over great guy. And, and and when my channel first started up, I communicated with him a lot. You know, we exchanged shop cards. Uh, you know, we talked a lot, a whole lot. Uh, and he helped me through some dark times at the beginning of this channel. Uh, what to look for, what to watch for, you know. Yeah, I know that's the same thing, but you know what I mean. Uh, and I finally got the chance to meet him last year for the first time. Uh, it was terrific. Great. You know, he knew exactly who I was. I knew who he was. Uh shook his hand we got to talk off and on through the weekend which I will treasure forever because you know it's it, you got to put a face you know with the name and you know all the conversations you've had you you it's it all comes to real life uh, and I, I know Terry's struggled over the time to you know in and out of the hospitals and uh, boys on oxygen you know and and uh, you know, this last time, and then he comes home, and he's he's on hospice. You know, that that tugs. Uh, so, you know, then the announcement comes. You know, they're making preparations for the end of life. Uh, and I know that's going to be a better thing in the long run for Terry, senior, as we all like to call him. Uh, but, you know, still it's like, 
the way I can explain it is, you know, you meet somebody and the rapport is really good and, and it evolves into a really good friendship. Uh, and you know that friendship's only going to get stronger. And you hope the next time you get to see him and hang out with him and, you know, just shoot the shit. Uh, I know that's not going to happen, but, you know, his, his family, as much as I'm just a distant friend uh, and really have no input one way or the other, uh, his family is, you know, going through a, a big struggle. Uh, and I know this because I've been there. Uh, I've lost both my parents. I've lost all my grandparents. Uh, I've lost a sister uh, to drugs. I lost her son, my nephew, to drugs. Uh, it's, and I've lost aunts and uncles. Uh, it's really rough on the other end of it, being a family member and losing, losing a family member. And I know a crap ton of people have been through it and they know what it's all about. So, you know, somebody, I, I can't remember the name, somebody started a GoFundMe to help the family through Terry's end of life process. Uh, it is financially straining. Uh, it adds even more emotion to the situation. Uh, so, you know, I'm just one person. Uh, I happen to have a YouTube channel. Uh, and I ask if, if nothing less, you know, keep Terry and his family in your prayers. Uh, I do it daily uh, and hope and hope and hope. Uh, you know, for a miracle, as everybody else has. But if you can find it in your heart, and you have a few extra dollars, go go hit that link, and uh, I'll have it down in the descriptions. Uh, hit that link and go, you know, help his family a little bit. Uh, it, it's it's getting a good start, and hopefully, that it will take some of that burden off his family uh, you know when it comes time so again minimal you know always keep him in your your thoughts and your prayers if you have the opportunity to meet the gentleman you'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about uh, and let's we'll we'll end it there uh, I tried to make this video this is the seventh time and I'm starting to get emotional again so we'll we'll just uh we'll leave it there so like i said at the beginning of this video uh i normally don't do this uh i'm, I'm very picky and choosy on what models that i buy and get uh unless it's something new that has come out and really you know sparked my interest and you know gets my head spinning on what i can do with it and i'm not a big airplane guy Although, something you should know about Rusty Rotor. Uh, I'm not just a model car guy. Uh, I do love other types of models. Uh, I've even thought about some Gundam. Uh, you know, what What little boy does not dream of robots? You know, space battling robots. You know, come on. Uh, I've not gotten any yet. <laughs> but I, I would like to at least get one. And, you know, and there's several that I like, and, and I kind of actually like them all, but, you know, they're, they're pricey and, you know, we ball on the budget. Uh, so we hit some of these little shops and antique, there's two antique malls that were pretty good size. One was just a, you know, he didn't have a lot, but he had a buttload of airplane models. Uh, and this gentleman also, uh, when it comes time, I'll talk about it more, but he's getting ready to unload some of his hoard uh, and when I say hoard this man has over 5,000 paints uh, I think he has over 5,000 model cars in his collection that he's going to start liquidating uh, we've exchanged information uh, he is going to notify me uh, email uh, with a list of everything uh, and uh, prices I guess I hope uh, I don't know if they'll be bulk or what, what have you. I hope, you know, he gives me a bulk price for things because, 
he has a lot of things in his collection that I want and I would love to have. Uh, and uh, I will pass that information on to you when uh, it comes time. It, it'll be within this year, it, according to him. So it won't be long, guys. Cows. So uh, first we'll do our mail call and we'll get to the the hall, the, what you see in the thumbnail. So I want to thank, big shout out to AMT. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm guessing this is round, yeah, round two. So big shout out to round two. Uh, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart uh, for re-releasing this kit. Uh, as many know that, you know, this kit was only released one time uh, and never released again until now. Uh, so I was like everybody else. I got on the bandwagon, got a pre-order in. Uh, it's for the 1963 Ford F-100. Uh, as most people know, this truck is a, a one-piece body. Uh, even in the real truck, was a one-piece body. Uh, it was a unibody truck, such as like a Camaro or Trans Am uh, and others. So this, this this truck is really, if you think about it, is set up badass and way ahead of its time. Uh, a unibody, you know, you can. There's so many things you can do to this, to bring it into the new the new age, so to speak. But I always wanted one, and, and even when I had my collection way back when, I never had this kit. Uh, I, I looked for it, looked for it, and even back then the prices were a little too high for what I could afford and everything else. Now they're just astronomical. Uh, I've researched this kit for the past 10 years, even before I got really back into the hobby, because I it's just, if I would have sold it for the right price, I would have bought it regardless of being back in the hobby or not. This, <clears throat> having one of the originals would have been a, my, my holiest of all holy grails. Uh, and I've never really said that because the Johan kits have always been, you know, top priority in my heart. Uh, but this is the one that's always eluded me. Uh, and, you know, research and research. Trying to find, I, found, I found this kit anywhere from 200 at an excess of five, six hundred dollars for a mint condition sealed kit. Uh, and which is just, you know, I get that, but in the same fact, I'm, I'm never going to get it. <laughs> uh, so th thank you, AMT, in uh, round two, because you made this grown man, little boy, uh, dreams come true. Uh, and that's owning a copy of it. Uh, this one is going to stay sealed. Uh, I have plans when this comes, it's, it's sparse right now coming in. So when it gets more widely on shelves and everybody has a, a plenty, uh, I'm going to purchase two more. Because uh, I do have plans for this. But I do want to keep one sealed uh, and, and not ever touch it. Uh, it it's it's kind of like you getting your holiest of grails are you going to build it yeah some some cases i absolutely would and i am going to uh but i want to keep that one pristine i don't want to i don't want to touch it i don't want to do nothing with it uh just I'll put it up on my shelf and you know just look at it daily uh the box art is fantastic uh i i almost wish since they went the route of a camper as the two figures with it and you could have you know make your own trees or whatever you could have created this diorama to this artwork which is beautiful you know when i was a little kid this is this is the kind of artwork you saw it's kind of that norman rockwell type type setting you know you're in the woods it's snowing you got a couple of hunters they're staying in their camper in the back you know you kind of can read the story just off the box art which is fantastic uh you know it this was like 36 dollars might as well call it 40 bucks so 40 bucks was it worth it to me absolutely being almost 60 years old and looking back going knowing this kit was you know like three dollars and 50 cents when it came out that's that's insane but you know, in today's world, it was as well worth every penny. Uh, so, you know, we got that. Again, thank you, AMT. 
uh, model roundup. You guys are bringing these old kits back that are really elusive in our hobby. Uh, some not so much, but every once in a while, you guys turn a page and you bring something like this back. Uh, it means a lot to us. And I, I'm speaking for a lot of people. Uh, primarily, I'm speaking for myself. Because uh, if not, I would have never obtained this kit. You know, this is the same kit. You know, the, the, the tooling's been cleaned up and, you know, so on and so forth. But it's, it's you know, it's like you're looking for that that original OEM 396 to go in your Chevelle. You know, somebody took it out years ago and put a 454 in it or whatever, and you want to put the car back to OEM specs, and you're looking for the original engine, and you find it. It's a feeling of no other. It, it doesn't matter if it's model cars, real cars, uh, Barbie dolls. It, it's no matter what in life that you, you collect or you, you know, you seek out after. Uh, when you get that thing, it's, you know, it's, it's like finding a buried treasure, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. So, uh, as I go through my shop and I gather up the parts for this truck that I've been collecting for 10 years, even before I got back in the hobby, I was, I was visually and writing stuff down, what I wanted, what I wanted to do. Uh, and, and I obtained those because I knew pretty much one day I would get get the kit and then you know they announced they were releasing it so I was like ha. I pulled the trigger and I, I got the rest of the stuff and I've got three versions I can go uh, so it's just deciding which one I'm actually going to apply to it but you know enough about that again thank you AMT model roundup you guys are spectacular and, and, and this one little boy in a grown man's body uh, perspective uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, enough about that. Uh, as you know, I'm leaning over here because it's all on the floor because I already did this video six times. Uh, we ordered the 67 uh, service bed. Uh, you know, this is a bump side Ford uh, just with a utility bed. Uh, Mobius is my number one model kit. I love, love, love Mobius's kits. Uh, and, and I've not gotten any of their cars yet, other than the, the Gaster Nova. Uh, and, you know, thank you to Market Hobby Nut Models. You know, he made sure I got a copy of that kit. Uh, I did pay for that kit, but, it, I mean, he went, because they were out. And he went out of his way, and he made, he made sure that happened for me. So, you know, again, thank you to Mark uh, on my Mobius collection. Uh, the only reason I bought this kit is for two reasons. Number one, I needed the grill. Uh, even though Shorty has a 69 grill, and it is a, a Ranger grill, so it does, it has that little emblem in the center, and these are fluted out and, and got red in them, just in one of the, one of the ribs, uh, I can use that and I can, I can create that flute, and Ernest made the, uh, emblem for the center it says Ranger so we just replicated the grill the only difference is a, a, a 60 69 grill I think has one more rib in it than what this does uh, at least on the real truck uh, so we're just gonna adapt we'll come right here basically center of the headlight and we'll use that rib right there and we'll we'll replicate a, a 69 onto a 67 because all the other grills have got a divider in the center or a double divider which makes it look like two sections and, and that's keeping true to the nature of the truck which Mobius has done now people bitch and moan and complain Mobius all oh, they're warped and they're this that and the other I tell you what I've never had a better fitting kit of the parts uh, even with a warpage issue to me warping is is no big deal you can take that warping out it just takes some patience uh, there and there's a tons of methods now, I use the hot water method. I also use a heat gun method uh, and weights. And both of them have worked 100%. No, no. And I've showed you guys using a heat gun and, you know, tweaking the body and then setting it down, let it air cool. Uh, or you can put it in the hot water, uh, let it get good and soft, and then 
manipulate it how you want it, weight it down, let it air cool, and, and you know, it takes the warping out. It's plastic, guys. It, it can be manipulated. Uh, so don't let that deter you. Uh, but I wanted the utility bed because I've got plans we won't talk about now uh, for that. So, yeah, we got that too. This was already available. I was waiting. The 63 was constantly being uh, backdated, backdated, backdated. Uh, I did stay in touch uh, with uh, Model Roundup. Uh, talked to them on the phone. They insured me. Everything's good. Uh, the order was ready. I got notified. Boom. And, you know, I've seen these, not these, but the 63 popping up all over the social media. So I knew mine was, I was somewhere on that list. And, yep, yeah, sure enough, I got it. Notified on last Wednesday, and it arrived Friday. Two days, guys. Two days. And it's, it was packaged beautifully. They always send a nice little letter saying thank you, and, and your receipt on what you purchased. Uh, they're just always great to order from. And, uh, you know, I, I, I thank one person, individual, for turning me on to Model Roundup. Uh, and that was Fred Henry. Uh, now, I know they're local, pretty much local to him. Uh, and, and others, but you know, once he told me about it, I went to there. I was like, "Holy crap!" You know, I just started ordering all kinds of stuff because they had pretty much everything I wanted. Uh, now, over the years, I found other places, and but I still go back to Model Roundup when I'm looking for something certain, and I'm pretty sure they always have it. And in this case, they did too. Every, every case that I needed, they, they've had it. So, uh, just. Great, so now we'll get this grill out of here. We'll get it stripped and ready. The stuff is in the mail from Ernest coming here. Uh, so we can really, we can move forward on Shorty, but we're gonna take a little break from Shorty for about a week or two. Uh, we're gonna do a little work to uh, Cecilia and uh, get her pretty much at the same level that Shorty is. Uh, and then we're gonna be doing a lot more work to the diorama because a lot of those parts are here and a lot more are still on their way. Uh, some parts had to be remade, uh, which is no big deal. That It just happens when, you know, I'm dealing with creators that aren't local to me that, you know, and they send pictures. Pictures are okay and they really help, but they sometimes are misleading and and that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking just for, you know, for it to fit and play part. Uh, so I thank Norman I, and I thank Ernest from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you both are great, great people, great friends, and, and you're amazing at what you do uh, because I can't do that stuff. Uh, I can print. I just, I can't design or create or all that stuff. I, I'm just starting getting decent at scaling things uh, from one to the other. And that's all we had was a little scaling issue. Uh, which is, is no big deal. And that's why he sent it in advance so we could we could get that all figured out and determined. And I think we did. And I'm calling him again later today and we're gonna hash out some other things uh, uh, with my laptop and hopefully that'll fix some issues I have with my printer. So, uh, and, and it may not, you know, but we'll find out. Uh, so, what you guys have been waiting for, the haul. Uh, you know, we're walking through the antique stores. We're looking, we're looking, looking. My wife's always scouting out models. Oh, there's one. She's like, and she knows if I buy a NASCAR kit, I'm buying it for parts. Uh, or if I'm going to get, get in on the NASCAR group build, then I'll buy a specific car to get in on that. But uh, I found this sitting on the shelf. I never knew it existed. Uh, and it's a Mobius kit. You know, this is a lot older. It's not vintage, but it's older. Uh, I think it was 2000 and, 2009. So, you know, it's not that old, but it's it got a little age on it. Uh, it was one of my favorite TV shows as a kid, as I'm sure it is of a lot of people. But it's the robot. Lost in space. All right, guys, gals. Sorry about that. Uh wife just had some information for me uh so as we were saying uh you know walking down through the aisles uh i spotted this it, it was kind of covered and i looked at it like oh that's probably just a box you know they've rewrapped it blah 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 uh 
I started looking at the box, reading over it, and realizing this is this is factory sealed, so it's never been opened. Uh, and you know, Lost in Space, the robot. This I th I think as a kid they had a bigger version of this in a model. I think I'm not positive. You guys can let me know down in the little bleep bloops down there. Uh, it was probably made by Atlantis. I I'm thinking I, I I could be totally wrong. But anyways, uh, I don't know what scale this is. It doesn't even say, I don't even think. Uh, it's a level 3 advanced. I don't foresee that from looking at the back here. Uh, only maybe because it's got small parts. But my mind started wondering, you know, like, I, I haven't opened it, so I don't know if this is a clear part, like it should be, or if you got to paint it and make it look clear. I don't know. It's got parts inside of it, so I, I'm assuming those parts are clear. We could wire this up and put some LEDs in here and, and really kind of take it to the next level. And I'm like, wow, yeah, it's twelve forty nine. dollars you know? No, can't be worth No, I paid like $9 for this. I think this is when it was in the store. It was twelve forty nine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, look at the back of it. Super simple instructions. They got color chart, uh, you know. But I, I didn't know this existed. I probably would have got this a long time ago. But this is a great little slump buster. A little weekend project. You know, you don't feel like working on a model car. You don't, you want to do something a little different. Perfect for that. Uh, and if there's any sci-fi group builds, I, I know I've heard of one or I know that it exists, I think. Uh, let me de know down the descriptions there, or the comments, uh, who holds that, who hosts it, and uh, when it is. And, and I, I'm going to use this to get in on that, uh, whenever that may be. If I've missed it this year, then I'll get in on it next year. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to light, light him up and put lights where they need to be and really uh, make this a a lot better than just building out of the box, which would be a blast because it brings back memories. Uh, so yeah, we got that one uh, down here. Uh, my wife found this one. Again, this one's not that old, but it is in vintage boxing. Uh, it's pristine. It's never, it's not, I mean, it's factory sealed inside. I don't know if this was ever wrapped in plastic or this is just the way it came, but uh, you know, this is, this is a crazy scale. Uh, this is, uh, where did I see that at? 198th scale, right? So I'm not for sure if this is, I don't think this is HO scale. It's a little too big, I think. As you can see, it's all factory sealed in the bag. The decals, I think, even though they've beiged out, if you look, you can see the shimmer on the decals. The individual decals, I think they're okay. Uh, and I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna get these remade just to be safe, but I'm gonna spray these with clear. And uh, and then try to uh, transfer them to C. I mean, because I'm not really gonna slam this thing or. Lift it up, make it a four by four. You know, this is really too small for me. Uh, but this is almost HO scale. I, you guys can let me know down in the descriptions. It's I think it's a little bit bigger than HO, uh, as the back of the truck is about the same width as a train car. Uh, this would be Lionel scale, whatever that s scale is. And I know it's not G scale because G scales is outdoor trains. And that's this basically the same thing as 125th scale, so that much I do know. So I would, I mean, if I was going to scale this for what they say on the box, I would say this is really close to like Lionel size. And I bought a kit from uh, Old Tom Rambler 69 last year uh, that is basically the same scale. It's the 56 Ford F100. It's got a motorcycle with a policeman and the, the guy in the truck and some other little things. I think between that truck and this truck would make a nice little vignette diorama type thing. So that's the plan I want to do with that. And I may do that for next year's uh, small scale group build uh, using both vehicles and creating a little, a little diorama uh, for that. 
<clears throat> so we'll place those two together. Uh, we'll get a container and we'll get the pieces we're going to need and my ideas and notes and everything. We'll put it all together in one box and when it comes time we'll get it out. We'll have everything right there and can jump right into it. Uh, another kit I've been kind of looking for, uh, I don't have, uh, is the 37 Ford panel delivery. Uh, as you guys know, I like cars from the, the teens all the way up to, you know, the mid seventies, uh, muscle cars and, you know, and some of the newer cars, even though they're a representation of muscle cars, those are the ones I kind of lean, lean towards, you know, I'm not into the new Cadillacs or the Escalades or Blazers or, you know, all that certain trucks. Yes. But most of them, no, uh, but we found one and this one still has the paints, which are still good. It's got the paintbrush in there and a little tube of glue, which is still good. Uh, that little tube of glue will be our donor to the two little trucks and the accessories, excuse me, uh, for that little diorama, because it's just enough glue to do everything I would need for that diorama, and we might as well use it. Uh, well, I guess I well, I'd just keep it all intact, and I would never, well, you know, that's just wasteful, because the glue's eventually going to harden up, the paint's going to harden up, and, you know, the paints I can use for the dioramas, uh, and I'd never use it on a model car. It's an acrylic type paint. Uh, you know, this kit is not that old. It's been repopped many times. Uh, this is 1998. I mean, it's got a little age to it. The box is in decent shape. It's a little warped, but no big deal. Uh, but it's complete, unbuilt. I've been touched. Everything in the box like it would be. Uh, the decals are not. Somebody robbed it for the decals. Again, I would never use those decals anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, you know, it being a circus vehicle, that's kind of cool. Uh, you know, if you wanted to do a 125th scale diorama of uh, like Ringling Brothers or something like that, and have several vehicles and maybe a train car uh, and, and the animals and, you know, really kind of do it up like they just got into town they're, they're setting up the big tent uh, you know my, that's how my mind wanders I see a decal like oh circus huh? if I could do you know I'm just insane that way but we got that one which is really cool uh, we're going to start going through this stuff pretty quick uh, this tractor I saw it was $5 I was like it's probably just a box I got into it it's not everything is here nothing is missing uh, but they did build the tractor which I can disassemble this no problem. Uh, they did a decent job uh, assembling this. Uh, it's not horrible. The wheels function, which is cool. But the plans for this, and I've thought about this buying the, the kit itself and doing it myself. Uh, I couldn't bring myself to spend $23, $24 for it. Uh, to me, this is a $5 kit. Uh, it is really doing it up nice. Painting everything uh, accordingly. Uh, and nice and shiny and sitting on the back of a trailer and being pulled by a truck uh, Going to a tractor show, you know people do show these things. They're they're restored and you know, Just made made beautiful like they rolled off the showroom floor so to speak factory factory floor uh, It is a Porsche. Uh, I'm not familiar with this tractor, but it's still it's a tractor and it, it fits the piece that I need For what I had in my head. I have the trailer. I have the truck I have the tractor now, so that that can come around and be done now. So a nice little addition, uh, great price, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, another kit that I, I love kits is Tamiya. Uh, they're always all the ones I've ever built, man. They just go together. It, they they fit perfect. Uh, they're not always clear on their instructions. And I get that struggle with a lot of people. But, you know, after you've built so many model cars, you kind of figure out where everything goes. You know, it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You, it's repetitive. So we found this one. This was $12. And I'm thinking, well, you know, if it's just full of parts, hopefully the tires and wheels are in there. That, that in today's price, the tires and wheels would be worth the $12. Uh, not to mention the engine. If that is in there, then... I've got an idea in my head what I could do. Well, I open it up and pretty much everything is in here. Everything that is except for the windshield. 
One Piece is the only thing that's not in here, which sucks. But, if anybody out there has kit bashed this or something and they have the windshield, send me an email, please. Let me know. Uh, we can work something out. I'll pay for it. Uh, you know, I'll trade you something for it, whatever, what, however you want to do. Uh, but now, now that I know that everything is here, I, I want to build this just the way it is. And, you know, the, even the masks are in here to do the windshield. So you get that black trim around the windshield. Now you say, Rusty, you could probably make a windshield. Yes, I probably can. Uh, and, and that definitely fits the balling on the budget. You know, you don't want to spend money if you don't have to. Uh, in this case, I'd much rather have the uh, kit's windshield to put in it uh, just to make the process easier. Because this, this itself would be a slump buster build. There's not a whole lot to it. Uh, it's fairly easy. It has been started a little bit, but nothing of anything. Uh, I think this, uh, the dashboard got started. The, the seat, one of the seats got put in. It's got a little bit of a glue mess on the floorboard, but we can clean that up no problem. Uh, the engine has been started, but not to the fact that I can't disassemble it and then do it up the right way. Uh, so, yeah, our plans are to build it just like it is. The body's already pre-painted, so all I got to do is just, like, wet sand the whole thing down and give it a real good clear coat, and, you know, the body body's done. Uh, it even has the mesh to go in behind the grills. Uh, it's got uh, all the decals. You know, which is basically just the little emblems in the center of the wheels, the the hood, you know, so on and so forth. There's not a whole lot to the kit. So, again, anybody that's got a windshield for this right here, the Ferrari 360 Modena, 124 scale, please send me an email or drop me a comment. Let me know you're going to send an email uh, and we'll work something out where I can get this windshield. Uh, or ask around for me, see if you can obtain it, and uh, I'll... I'll reimburse you, whatever, or trade you to, for your reimbursement, whatever it may be. But that's going to go up in our Tamiya kits. Uh, I've always said as, I, as a modeler, I would buy the regular model kits and try to get back what I had in my collection prior to, and, and then seek out the uh, Holy Grails and s build up my Tamiya collection. Because even back then, Tamiya was so expensive, I could never afford them. Uh, and I'm slowly but surely getting quite a few Tamiya kits. Uh, Aoshima, uh, or Osh Moshia, or whatever, however they pronounce it. I call it Aoshima. Uh, and a few others that are, you know, like Academy and stuff like that. Sorry, my nose is this weather, man. We're going from hot to cold, hot to cold. Now today is just storming and... It's not, it, the temperature's nice, but it's, it's storming. My, my brain is just going nuts. Uh, and then my wife found this and I tore the stupid thing. So I'm going to have to take this somehow, but it's in a collector's tin. Uh, this is from Polar Lights, the Batmobile, uh, in a collector tin, which is awesome. And the, the tin is kind of rough. Uh, I'm thinking maybe of restoring the tin uh the i don't want to damage the artwork on the front I'll take that off there damage the artwork on the front uh but i could wet sand this and blend this clear coat and then re-clear coat this and make that look good it's the bottom of the tin that really needs to work uh i'm not a real big uh but i think i could do it and we may just for the display part of it or we may just leave it exactly like it is but if you take the lid off of it, the kit is not built. It's not been touched. It's all still in the box. That classic vintage box art. Uh, it does have both Batman and Robin. Uh, it's 132nd scale. It also has an awesome poster uh, of like the blueprint, blueprint design of the Batmobile. Which we will frame. Uh, this will go on top of the tin. The picture will be on the wall above it, and the model will be in a display case right below it. Uh, that's how I, that's how I will display it. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I want the 125th scale with the Batman and Robin, and then I need to get the Joker police car with the Joker figure. Also, 
but uh, you know that's something to keep my eyes open for. Uh, if any of you guys have that, with it's got to have both Batman and Robin. Uh, the Batmobile on 125th scale, and you want to let go of it, uh, send me an email. Let me know what you want for it, uh, what you take and trade for it. Whatever, we'll we'll figure it out, or we won't. Uh, so, you know, thanks for my wife's keen eye. She saw that. Uh, the rest, guys, we're going to just show you real quick, and then we're going to get off here. Let me turn this around. That's the rest of the hull. Those are all the airplanes. We got an A. Dash 6E Intruder. It is missing a pilot and his arm. Uh, they are two pieces. Uh, has one pilot and his arm. But I need the other pilot and his arm for that. So that is 148th scale by Ravel. A 6E Intruder. So if anybody has the pilot, let me know. Uh, I don't kit bash airplanes. So I don't have anything to get another you know, figure from. Now, I'm sure there's some out there I could probably get, but I would like to have the one that goes with the kit. So if anybody kit bashes and builds planes, uh, and you have an extra pilot, again, contact me, let me know. Uh, the next kit up, that is a very highly detailed kit. It's uh, Classic Airframes, Avro Anson Mark I, uh, in parentheses it says Early Model, it's 148 scale also. It is a very cool thing. It's got resin parts, photo etch, uh, then the you know the styrene parts. Uh, the decal sheet is amazing. Uh, I paid like thirty dollars for it. They had another one that was a watercraft. You know, had the two tubes on it, the, the pontoons on it, and it had a lot more photo etch and a lot more resin stuff and some other stuff. But it was too pricey. Plus, it had already it was already sold online, so uh, he just hadn't got it off the shelf yet, which sucked. But uh, then we got a, an old biplane, testers, nothing special. It is in great shape. Uh, the decals are going to have to have remade. Uh, and then we've got an Academy uh, P-51B, I guess what it says. Uh, decals are perfect. Uh, everything's there. Nothing's missing. And then we have one I think is pretty old. It's a lifelike hobby kits. Hawker Fury, 148 scale. Uh, the decals are going to have to get remade. Uh, I don't, I don't think I would want to trust taking them off there, but it is complete and sealed in the bag. Uh, so yeah, we got those one, two, three, four, five aircraft. We got one, two, three, three cars, vehicles, and a tractor and a robot. Oh, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, four vehicles and a tractor and a robot. And then mail call, we got the two Mobius kits, or one AMT kit and one Mobius kit from uh, Model Roundup. We we think, you know, the vendors at the uh, antique stores, especially the one because he really caters to aircraft. There was, I, I could have walked out there and spent $800 just on aircraft. Uh, again, I'm not a big aircraft guy, but I do like them. Uh, I had a lot of aircraft when I was a kid, and I destroyed them, pretty much like all little kids would do. Uh, and I, I kind of want to build my collection back up. I've always had a fascination for airplanes, uh, as much as I have cars and hot rods and stuff like that. So we got a, we got quite a few slump busters, uh, weekend projects, uh, and just an overall, you know, whatever it would take to build it, a couple weeks, uh, maybe longer, depends on how much detail I put into it. I'm not going to go crazy like I do on the cars, guys. Uh, but I would be, I'd put a little more into the paint work and weathering here and there where it needs to be, uh, which my skill set, I can do that now. I couldn't do that when I was a kid, so it's hard to do. So, uh, you know, I thank you to all my past, present, and future subscribers. I hope you guys like this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, it's, like I said, it doesn't happen very much that I bring home this much, uh, model stuff, uh, from anywhere. Uh, always two or three kits, maybe, and some detailing stuff, but never this much. Uh, you know, so I think I think my wife for you know let me do it. Uh, you know, because her money is my money. And then this didn't come out of the the uh, slush fund for the hobby. This came out of our own pockets. So that's why I've said before. It, you know, every once in a while I do get in my own pockets to support the hobby, as pretty much everybody has to do. Uh, 
the the hobby is not going to pay for itself the printer's down that was our money maker uh and you know all we can do is figure out ways to make extra money to support support my madness uh we also got uh i want to thank this gentleman uh they're super nice uh, if you've ever dealt with them uh you you understand you know uh this is midwest let me get my glasses on here real quick Midwest uh, Model Railways. Uh, I don't know where they're located, but there's their website, guys. Right there. Pause it, write it down. Uh, he has a lot of G scale uh, accessories. And, you know, and it is real close to 125th scale, so it, it will fit the part. Even if you wanted to spend the 100 plus dollars and buy a building, it, it's so close you can't tell the difference in scale. And have that building as a backdrop for your model car or a little little diorama uh, or you scratch build it it totally up to you but you know that's there's a lot of unique old vintage looking buildings in G scale you can get so a lot of them are wood kits so you can really detail the crap out of them uh, just as much as a, pl a plastic kit uh, 529 is what I spent now the shipping was $11 so I spent $16 $17 this is hard to come across. The diamond plate. Uh, they had it. Two sheets, 8 inches by 12 inches for $5.23. Uh, I think it was normally 5 something. I got a little bit of a discount uh, because they had a little deal going on. It wasn't because I'm Rusty Rotor, but uh, you know, I'd be glad Midwest. Uh, you know, you guys want to start sending G-scale stuff to the channel. Uh, I love model railroads. Uh, I abs absolutely love model railroading. I just don't have the space to do it. Uh, but I figure out other ways to incorporate it into what I do have space for and what I do. And that would be G-scale. So this is for uh, Shorty to create the plate on the back bumper and the little side steps. And anything in the future. Built in the toolbox in the back of a truck. Uh, it is a little off. Uh, it should be a little closer. If you guys have ever got a model kit with, you know, scaled diamond plating, it is a little closer. But this will play the part. And that's all we need. We're not looking for perfection just to play the part to fit in. And it does enough. Uh, but this stuff's hard to find. You know, in plastic struck, plastic struck, or evergreen, you're really going. You're going the routes of eBay. Uh, it's in excess of $13 for one sheet. Uh, sometimes you can find somebody that's honest and fair, and you'll you'll get the double sheet for, you know, 13 bucks, which is still a good deal because it, it is hard to find. And I've researched and researched since I asked you guys if anybody had a scrap piece, and nobody commented, nobody stepped up. So that even reassures me that this stuff's hard to come across, and when people get it, they they hold on to it, and I don't blame them a bit. Uh, but I was lucky enough to find this, and like I said, this will play the part. And these people at uh, Midwest Rail Model Railroading, some of the nicest people I've ever encountered. I, I've got I got eight emails. If I didn't get one, let me know exactly when it's shipping. It's been shipped. It's been delivered. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your order. Uh, Almost to the point it seemed like they're they're struggling and any little thing they get they're super appreciative of, but they're that way. I mean, I went through and read a lot of comments and every, a lot of people said the same thing. So, this is truly a great company, and people that value their customers. Uh, so you know, just a, an overall great transaction, and, and uh, it took about a week to get here uh, through the whole process, which is not bad. Uh, so yeah, now we got that. We've pretty much everything we need for Shorty is here. Uh, the rest of the stuff will be here in a couple of days, uh, and you know, well, we can we can wrap Shorty up and move on to the next project, uh, which uh, we'll probably take in that week or two break that I'm talking about from Shorty and focus on uh, Cecilia. That's the time that we'll be dismantling Workbench One and Two. Uh, moving the diorama table over to here and creating our shelves and our uh, storage shelf underneath the TV 
and getting our recliner moved and getting our rug back down, getting the shop all cleaned back up, organized, just kind of a little downtime to get everything because I'm starting to lose things and misplacing things and I need to find them. Uh, so an overall sweep through the shop, a little adjustment and uh, arrangement here. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're going to use the base of this desk uh, and the top board here to make the shelf on top of that shelf that's underneath. Oh, what else? Uh, you know, we got to remount the light. We got to move our air purifiers. There's a lot of things we got to do. And, you know, giving myself a couple weeks and the time that I have to do it each day, that should be just enough. And we can be working on the villain in between. And uh, we'll redo a video and show the shop the way it is now. And that's the way it will stay. Uh, regardless, I'm not doing any more. I'm tired of rearranging. Uh, and when the other stuff comes in the mail, we'll take a look at it. Uh, kind of see. Here's one of the uh, street lamps. Uh, this smaller one, I'm going to... I'm going to modify this a little bit. We're going to take off the street name and that bar and that decorative part. I will keep the light on there. Uh, this will just be at the end of the street by the red building. And then the bigger one, I'm going to get it out without destroying it. They're kind of hooked. Uh, we will cut this out and put a flat piece of styrene in there. This is the name, the name of the street. And that's old Tom is the winner of that one. Uh, we'll put the name he chose on here with his initials. Uh, the lampshade is separate. Uh, I'm going to have to make a bar somewhere in here, a tube, so I can get the wire uh, out to the light and put an LED in it. Uh, we're going to have to use a very long drill bit. Uh, I have some, but i got to see what size they are. Where we could get drilled up into here to feed the LED to the light. Or we're we'll gonna have to get very creative somehow, maybe put a, a tube up the back of it. And it is a little warped, but you know, hot water will cure that and we'll get it reshaped. Uh, but yeah, the scroll work is beautiful. The whole whole thing is beautiful. So great job, Norman, on that lamp post. Uh, we got a lot of animals in here, the squirrels, the birds have arrived. Uh, the checkerboard uh, that lies our issue in the scaling, but uh, we've got Mr. Mark Batson here with his arms up. He he won the checker game. Uh, he's getting rescaled uh, to the the size of all the other figures I'm using, uh, and uh, <laughs> we're calling Mark Batson. Uh, so, Mark, if you're watching this, man, it's it's all in fun and games. I'm not I'm not being demeaning in any way. Uh, but I think he resembles you, so uh, we're we're incorporating you into this diorama. Uh, you know, I, I think it, it, it's suiting. Uh, you know, I know he's done that with Clay Kemp uh, on one of his builds, and, and it's very humorous. Uh, and that just as soon as I saw that figure, I was like, "That's Mark Patson." You know, I've had the pleasure of meeting Mark a couple times, talking to him, uh, you know, watch his videos. He's, he's just an outstanding human being. Uh, he's a God-fearing Christian, uh, and he's up here in the modeling. You know, I mean, if you've seen his work. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, yeah, we just, we're getting the figures rescaled. No big deal. Uh, the checkerboard is getting rescaled a little bit, and, and the seating and the, uh, the bench, as you can see. Here's one of the chairs. Uh, this is one of the chairs that will sit up on the roof for Don Carlos to sit on. Uh, old wooden chair. We'll weather these up. And then we got two more for the uh, checkerboard scene uh, down in the courtyard. But yeah, uh, Norman did an excellent job. You know, I got all kinds of birds, different sizes, three different sizes. So we can, well, we won't use all of them, but we'll have birds throughout sitting maybe up on the power lines, on top of the buildings, you know, down on the ground, whatever. Uh, and there's other, other animals to come, some cats, some mice, uh, some other dogs. Uh, you know, we got a lot of detail going into this diorama. And we're just, we're just tipping the iceberg. So, uh, that's pretty much it 
for now that we've gotten. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody uh, that's gotten involved on this diorama. Uh, old Tom for the street name. It's uh, Ruiz de Palmare TW. Uh, translation is Streets of Palmero or Palar. I ah, can't speak. Palar Palermo Streets of Palermo uh, TW. It, 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 that's not what's going to be on there. It's going to be the Ru, Ruiz de Palermo uh, TW. Uh, but the translation is Streets of Palermo. Pa Palermo? I can't pronounce it. I'm not Italian. Uh, but it, it's really cool. So thank you to Tom and, and the people that you know dropped the names in the hat there for that one. Uh, like I said, Tom was the winner for that. So his name is going to go on there. Uh, we, are, we found somebody local. I think I mentioned this already. That does the uh, brass engraving. So we're going to have a plaque made for the front of the diorama. With everybody's name on it that is involved in uh, creating, designing, or donating, uh, or in this case, Tom, uh, just giving a name for a street. Uh, so it, it's still open, guys. If you want to get involved in this diorama, uh, you just gotta let me know and, and what what you can do and you know what you want to do, and uh, we'll, we'll get you on the plaque too. The plaque is gonna be the last thing that's made. That way, uh, there'll be a deadline. Uh, let's say this is uh, February, the end of February. Uh, we will run that offer until uh, the middle of April or, or February, March. Let's go to the middle of March, uh, and that'll be the cutoff. Uh, so March 15th, uh, you have until then, if you want to get involved in this diorama in one way or the other, nothing vehicle related, but for the diorama itself, whether it be making you know trees uh foliage uh people animals anything like that i, I mean i'm putting teacups tea pitchers sugar cup uh, silverware you know it, it's going to be fully detailed uh so anybody wants to get involved in all that you just gotta let me know what you can and can't do uh you know i need curtains for all the windows i need i mean i have the material but it's something that I would have to do. Uh, I can, if I get somebody to do that, that's less, I can focus more on something else. Uh, you know, this detail is going to go probably pretty much right down to the wire on this diorama. So, uh, along with all the other projects we're working on. So just let me know. Uh, my email is always down below. Uh, Mark at Hobby Nut Models. He's, he's still our affiliate. Uh, you guys, you know, I get notified when somebody goes there. Uh, and I appreciate every single time somebody does because that is that's pennies on the dollar that enables me to apply that towards the shipping so I can get something to bring to the channel. Uh, you know, channels fizzle out because there's, they just don't bring nothing new. It's the same old boring crap uh, over and over again. And people get tired of watching it. And I do too. So to keep the channel fresh, I, I ask all the time, uh, if, if you guys want to help me and my channel, that is one way of doing it. The link is always down below. You just hit that link. It'll take you to the store. You can find damn near everything you want or need. Pick you up a little something. That helps the channel. Uh, that's the only thing I have. Other than the printer. And the printer's down. Uh, it's going to be down again until I get some money built up to purchase two more parts for the machine before I say the machine is junk. Uh, because we've gone through the possibility. Like I said, later today I'm talking to Norman. We're going to go through the settings. Uh, we've gotten a new build plate. I need to get new resin and a new FEP. And if I still keep getting the disasters that I've been getting, then we know it's the inevitable. Uh, you know, it's the LCD screen, which is way more than what the machine is worth and they no longer make my machine uh, yes I could buy an LCD screen but it's $165 I could buy this machine for $120 that was the last price I saw on it uh, before it's they don't even offer it anymore so you can see why it's just that's pan out so again I'm, I'm no different than anybody else I, I do need help from time to time uh, I'm not a channel where I'm wealthy backed by myself or uh, 
you know, full sponsorship that pays for everything. Uh, Mark did for a while. He sent stuff to the channel. He, he didn't, but it just didn't pan out as the agreement. And, and like we said before, that is completely understandable. It's a complete business arrangement and it wasn't panning out. So I understand, but we, he kept us on as an affiliate. Uh, so that is our way and our method of helping the channel for me to bring stuff for you guys to see, uh, get you inspired. Uh, and, and if you're not, then, you know, always hit his link, take you there. You can pick you up something for yourself. Uh, and, and, you know, that you've been looking for, but if you're here watching my video, might as well hit that link. Also, thank you to Ryan Jones, Z Force Model Works. He is a good friend. He is a amazing wheel designer and he designs other stuff as well. But that's where he likes to stay is in his wheels. He is a modeler, he's a father, you know, he's an employee, he is a husband. So always keep all that in mind when you order from him, especially if it's something custom, it's gonna take a while. So be plan ahead and be prepared. Uh, if it's something that he has on his website, you can just order it, you know, and you get it in a few days and it's well worth the money. You guys have seen the products. Uh, the products will always keep coming. Uh, you'll get to see them. Uh, and, you know, MGSF, uh, he's kind of been on the struggle bus here lately. Nothing really new has come out, uh, but he still has a lot of good product. You can go to, uh, what is it, Top Studios? Am I saying that right? Top Studios. I usually have their card right here in front of me because I order from them quite a bit. Uh, as another alternative, instead of going overseas, you can get it locally. Uh, they carry his product. Uh, that little touch, guys. Little valve stems. You guys can see it on that wheel there. Right there, a little valve stem. Got my little four wheels. That is just a touch of detail that you don't Ryan Jones don't three he could probably put that in the print but you can add that and get that look on any model even if you're doing the kit wheels you can add these little valve stems to them if you're a race car guy you can add the 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 big lug in the center with the pin that holds the wheel on you use the one gun take the one nut off and pull the wheel off uh, he designs those the hydraulics that lift the car when it comes into pit row so they can change the tires he, he's got those uh, and, and a bunch of keys and ignitions, uh, the little tumblers that replaces your locks on the model, all kinds of little detail parts that just bring your model up to the next level. So go check these guys out down below. And, and remember, guys, at the beginning of the video, if you guys can find it in your heart to help, uh, the GoFundMe link will be down below on this video and this video only. Uh, you know, Terry Senior is a great guy. He's an upstanding person. Uh, he's he's a good friend. Uh, we're not best friends, guys. I, it's not like that I'm losing a lifelong friend. But to me, he is. Uh, and that's to me and me only. Uh, everybody feels and does things differently than everybody else. But uh, Mr. Senior is, to me, a close personal friend. And it sucks that, uh, you know, inevitably we're going to lose him. Uh, and here I am getting emotional again. So uh, we'll call it quits, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me down in the comments. Flood these comments, guys. That's what puts this channel up in the uh, area for a lot of other people to see that may not be aware of this channel. It, it helps us grow. So I know I ask a lot, uh, but I'm only really asking a little. Uh, so I thank you guys again. Uh, let's let's do it. You know, 1500 is our next mark. We're trying to get there. Uh, guys spread the word share the share the video get somebody else interested in it that is not aware of it uh we got a lot of great things coming uh, a lot a lot of update videos on the diorama will be coming here soon uh, as we start incorporating this stuff in and, and the, all the weathering and you know the, i put it this way i've seen the rails that ernest designed for one of the balconies well two of the balconies uh they're absolutely fantastic i, I it blew my mind completely. I'm like, holy crap. That's exactly how I envisioned it. They are, you know, considering I don't have, in, in my point of view, you don't see the uh, pergola on that balcony. You don't even see the balcony at all. So this is, you know, my rendering and my addition and see this stuff come to life is absolutely blowing my mind. 
and, and the level of detail that's going to be in this thing is the same as what you'd see if somebody did a garage diorama. All the tools, the little posters on the walls, the, the switches and all the, the gadgets and gadgets and the lifts. and It's just, you can sit there and stare at it for hours. This is the same way, only it's a little a little village in Italy and, and the people that live there, that's, that's what it's going to be all about. Uh, so again, you know, Just do it, guys. Like, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, bell notification. Hit it up. Blow, blow it up, guys. This is our time for this channel to really kind of get to the next milestone. Uh, we got giveaways coming. Teaser pleasers. Uh, you know, we got to our next big milestone, which is 2,000. We have two, pleaser, two teaser pleasers. And we have uh, a 1500 sub giveaway uh, planned. So, guys, you know, as we as we go and grow, I let stuff go. You know, uh, great Z-Force Model Works wheels, model kits, whatever it may be. Uh, and my crazy, insane methods and processes on how I build and what I do and how I do it and all that stuff. So, again, thank you, guys. This is a long video, I know, but a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, we also got, this is our last thing, guys. Uh, this company is in the UK. Uh, he he makes all these, you know, you, you guys see them. There's plenty of companies that make these shelf, shelf organizers. This is the one I got. I got, like, 10 bags. Uh, with shipping, this was a little over $100. But, you know, I can store all my Vallejo, my, uh, what's the Citadel, uh, all my, all those kind of acrylic paints. I got this so I can store all those paints nice and neat. And this will go on the diorama table. This is actually big. Uh, I don't, uh, I hate to take more time, but, uh, Trying to see. I mean, you can kind of get an idea. One, two, three, four, five, six shelves per one of these. And there's six of these. Other than the two corner sections. So, I mean, that's what it, that's what it builds up right there. And, and each one of these things is... Uh, trying to see if it has the dimensions on here. I don't see it. But you get instructions for each thing. It tells you part B, part A, whatever. You see like this part A. Uh, and there's things you can add to this and, and build it up even more. There's uh, the taller inside corners, the taller racks. Uh, you can double the size of this thing. You can add the drawers. This is my next purchase is the drawers that go underneath it. Fits right to it. Uh, you can incorporate your little earth magnets in it to kind of keep everything in place. Uh, or you can glue it all together. Uh, tape it, whatever. But it's a way to keep everything organized. And then our next thing will be, uh, I already have a, uh, it's over there, uh, a, a thing kind of like this. And it's got, it holds the bigger pots of paint. Uh, we'll, we'll be incorporating that into this also. Uh, kind of looks like this, but there's openings. More like, kind of like this, I guess. Just reverse. This is this kind of stuff's down in front, and this is in the back. Uh, it's not the same company, but it will incorporate into this, uh, and we'll be looking to add other other sections of this as we go. Uh, and we may spread the center out right here by another two or three shelves to accommodate the whole desk, the diorama table, because that's where I build and paint all my miniatures and diorama stuff uh, and I, that's primarily all the paint I use so it's nice to have that all set up and ready so if I want to go sit down there and do that that day everything is right there everything and everything in its place so uh, we got to get this all built that'll get done when we get the desk moved and I take that light off the top uh, 
Well, actually, I'm going to be adding another light to the top of the dining table. There's two lights up underneath this desk. Uh, those will get incorporated into that uh, just to brighten up this area here. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything we got, guys. Uh, when the other stuff comes in, we'll do a little quick video. Again, I apologize for the, the length of this video, but it had to be done. So, again, flood the comments. Let me know what you think. Anybody that's got these parts that I'm missing, a windshield and a little pilot, uh, let me know. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll, uh, we'll make a deal. So, I thank you guys again. This is Rusty Rotor. I'm out.